highest clarion call score you have ever seen in rise of kingdoms i have killed a gazillion of barbarians to get this score and to get this point i'm going to detail in this video exactly how much action points i have used how many barbarians i have killed level 36 to 40 and much more as an addition i'm going to put a smaller video from a another recording of mine where i have opened about 400 crusader chest you're probably wondering well yo there's not so many but that cost me about 50,000 gems to acquire all those chests and you might be interested as a free to play or as a low spender if it's worth it to spend your gems when you rebuild the ruiner crusader fortress to acquire action points i'm going to detail every single thing that i have done including my marches used for the clarion call my talents and everything else in this video Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today I have a very nice surprise for you all. I'm rank 1 in the Clarion Call and you're probably wondering, Ronnie, why? I mean, is it even worth it for the rewards you get for the Clarion Call? The answer is no. The amount of action points and the amount of barbarians that I killed, it is not. But that's not the reason I was going for the Clarion Call. It just happened for me to acquire such a high rank that I really felt too excited not to do a video about it. Going on to the reward list, on the individual reward list, I'm going to get 10 keys, 1000 gems and 2 army expansion plus some speed ups, which obviously the rewards are not so high. The alliance rewards, it's also not something very, very high. But like I was mentioning, this is not the reason why I went for the clarion call, but I just, you know, this high score, it was so catchy. And I just felt like I have to do something about it. You all know about my project with the action points that I've done two videos about it. Now, after the update, you will not be able to purchase action points from your action points bar when you want to replenish action points, only when you're out of action points. So right now, I'm still not out of action points because this video is recorded before the update. And because of that, all that project kind of went down the shizzle so i decided the following i was looking on the honor ranking on the honor roll and i saw the the rank 20 you know i was saying like hey i've done a little bit of math in my head looking left and right and i was like i can do this i can get one of the skin so i started smashing barbarians with five marches non-stop going ham grinding honor like crazy because I said, I can do this, I can get in the top 20. Now, I'm not so sure that I can still get in the top 20, but I already went down this road. I still have a lot of coins to spend. Uh, Solona coins, which I haven't spent them. I want them to be spent once I'm run out of action points. And I will see if that will be enough to get in the top 20 or not. The event is going to end in a couple of days. My action points is also running low. So I will see if I'll manage to get a skin. Probably I'll do a video. If not, the worst thing that happened, I just got a bunch of speed ups and a bunch of resources. Like you've seen in the previous video. So I pretty much made about 68, 67,000 gems, a lot of resources and a bunch of speed ups. This five minutes, one minutes are just from this KVK which in the end is still worth it killing all these barbarians but now going back to the clarion call because i mentioned at the beginning that i'm gonna post on how many barbarians it can kill and how much action points did cost i'll make sure to post it on the screen after the recording when i'm going to edit between 1200 to 1300 barbarians now if you want to know how i know a roughly number on the barbarians is because I killed 99% just 36 to 40 and it cost 150 points. You do this times 5 because I always kill with 5 marches and that's 750 points. Now 750 points times 1000, that's 750k points. 200 times uh, 750, that's 150k. So there you have your 900k points that I have right here on my barbarians. In terms of action points, let's say if it was a, a 1200 barbarians, you do that times 5 and that will bring you to about 6000 and then you do that times 30 and that will bring you to about 180,000 action points. Is that easy? Probably not. But hey, I just found it easy. I'll make sure to post the exact numbers like I was mentioning on the screen. Now I need to talk 
about my army composition and about my five marches on killing these barbarians. And I'm pretty sure you all have questions like, why these marches? First of all, uh, Belisarius and Frederick is because of the troops capacity. Belisarius is always fast and he needs extra healing and extra troops capacity. I use a 25% army expansion and you're noticing that it's gone, meaning that my marches are out for more than four hours so i'm just gonna kill a random barbarian that i have over here on the left so i can show you approximately how many kills in a row my marches have done and if i'm correct they should be around the 300 mark that they have reached i used a five percent attack boost as well which uh, has been used for about five hours and this is just today right because the clarion call started yesterday so i killed yesterday as well all right so around 300 and you notice all the green marks on all my marches that's just healing after they they got killed so the composition of the marches was chosen for the healing purposes miramoto with double c was chosen for the damage but also healing belisarius and frederick you're noticing that it's pretty much the same amount of troops even after i killed the barbarian lohar and genghis um for the damage for the damage purpose because it's cost low rage and they're also fast i was also expecting low heart to be first you can put any cavalry or the cavalry commander if you want a second sardin if you want something more tanky Boudicca and pelagius again they super healing combo they never run out of uh, troops then you have uh, dao chan and ramses with archers and for the same purpose for the healing, Ramses has healing, Dao Chan has healing, and going into their talent trees to start to show you with the first one that I have. Going onto the Boudicca talent tree, uh, she is made with current chant, so you can get extra healing um, after you kill a target. After that, going into Belisarius, Belisarius talent tree is the same with the current chant, and after that, some mobility that I could get here and there from the cav and so on going further down is dao chan which i done the same time tree with current chant and hasty departure if she is slowing down it's very easy with dao chan you just go from tile to tile you have hasty departure and she can catch up with all the marchers pretty pretty easy once she's gonna get to 60 she will have the rejuvenate and she will have the extra marsh pit and at that point i don't think she might need you know to go from tile to tile Lohar is done as well with the current chant for extra healing and then extra attack after the healing because his primary skill does healing so I thought that you know it's pretty important to get that as well or any other support commander for that matter that has healing it's very important to put counter attack you know it's just a little bit of extra nuke or you know extra damage which doesn't hurt and the one commander I didn't show was Minamoto since I'm also using him as primary I done a special talent tree for Minamoto specific for this fight. He also has a little bit of equipment. Could have done something uh, smarter, I guess, and uh, put more cav equipment on all the five marchers since I pretty much killed for so long barbarians because I do have a lot of that type of equipment, like on double C, still have this blue green equipment, especially this mobility one. And double C also has healing. Minamoto with his talents also has healing because I went with the full peacekeeping and then the rest of the part on the skill so he can do some damage. So that's why my marchers never die. My five immortal marchers, as much as I keep killing barbarians, they just don't run out of troops. They sustain even if you don't use an army expansion, but I just found it easier with the 25 army expansion, especially if you plan to kill uh, barbarians for this long if you plan to chain for this long like i'm on 300 barbarians and my marches are nearly intact and i've done mighty force as a three points because i was like you know what this can also be used on rallying why do i really need to you know keep changing talents on minamoto i'm just gonna do this talent tree i'm gonna use this for killing barbs and i'm gonna use this for force as well he will do it. he will just do fine for now so this is also my five immortal marches on killing barbarians one of the question you probably want answer to is why doing the final update now i'm still 30 days in there's still plenty of time to spend gems to spend action points right like why is the final update the reason is i'm 
got pretty far in the honor roll and to be honest i want to give it a shot to a design it's about half a million points that you need for one of the ranks in uh, the highest ranks i'm 300 away and looking at my action points that i have right now in my inventory over here it's around 300 action points that i have so I'm pretty sure that I can get, or at least I can have a very good shot of getting one of the legendary designs. I've done a picture over here, what I have spent. 700 gems a day for 30 days, normal generation of action points, 15,000 action points battles for race against time event. And what have I received? An approximate of 90 days of speed ups. I got my gems back and I got 217,000 honor. Now, if you want to put all that together for me, for myself, that is highly worth it. Even if I would have get 21,000 gems, it would have still worth it because I made a gazillion of speed ups. 90 days of speed ups that I have made over there. As an addition or an extra to this video, since I'm going to use those action points, I've done the math, I noticed it's like 290,000 action points, so my apologies, but I just made it around like 300,000. I have 418 Crusader Supply Chest, and I got 320 Level 1 Treasure of Cave. So I'm going to go ahead and use this chest and add them in this video. This is 320 Treasure Cave. There you go, 3,300 action points. I mean, who don't want that? vip points a bunch of the vip points and gems so this is an addition because there you go i just got gems in this so i don't want that to interfere with the amount of gems that i have showed already if you haven't done your caves make sure you do your caves they are highly worth it i mean this is all free stuff that i got over here and all these maps they don't work into heroic anthem so i'm going to use them oh no i cannot go i have to go back to the original kingdom to use them that's crazy right and now is the 480 crusader supply chest which i'm gonna get even more action points so let's see how much i'm gonna get from this any other chests don't give action points so i'm not going to use them 418 i'm very positive already that's 26,000 action points a gold key research speed ups gems over there very nice and going further down, more research speed ups. I know that this is what you get from here. More research speed ups credits, about 650,000 credits. Ooh, now this is the sherry on top. How many of the 1,000? And that's 21 pieces. I would say that overall, I got quite a decent amount of action points for 400 chests, more gems, and so on. I spent 50,000 gems, if you're wondering. For this chest because i only got 300 so i made sure that everything else was from the normal donations but 50,000 gems i have spent on this chest i got 47,500 action points for 50,000 gems spent how many gems did i got back that's 1450 let's make it round 1500 so that's a total of um, 3200 gems that i got back so 50,000 gems and 47,000 action points plus the gem credits and whatever other stuff I got from here, I would say that's highly worth it. When you rebuild the Crusader Fortress, definitely donate to it some gems if you have to. You get the value back and all these action points, I will spend them to try to get around 20. So there you have it, the total action points is 340,000 action points that I have. And that's going to be the action point that will go towards my chance of obtaining a design. You notice, like I showed in the video, 217,000 honor I have already. And then I'm going to throw in these 340,000 action points in on barbarians. See how far I will be able to get by just smashing down barbarians. All right, yo, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you understand and... Uh like my explanation about this you do have to understand that i was a little bit hyped about it that's the reason i also done a video and i'm still killing barbarians because i don't want to stop killing barbarians i want to get my action points done one way, one way or another everything that i posted in this video if you did enjoy it please drop a like and subscribe for more turn on the notification bell because that definitely helps me as a content creator to create more content for you until next time, this is Bolle Gerani signing off. Peace out, Theo, and take care. See you on the next one, and stay safe out there, my friends.